Have you ever ran into a humongous mortise cylinder like this one? This mortise cylinder here is a inch and a half in diameter. Like seriously, this is an inch and a half wide. And I don't know of any manufacturers today that make a mortise cylinder this big. Now, the problem with that is that these inch and a half mortise cylinders exist in the world today. And most likely at some point, um, you're gonna have to work on one. So if you were to call us up and be like, hey, PJ, I need one of those inch and a half wide mortise cylinders, I'm gonna have to tell you, unfortunately, um, no such luck, they're not made anymore. But that wouldn't be any fun, would it? It wouldn't be any fun to stop with that and be like, well, uh, sorry. Something we wanna do is present real solutions to real problems. And I have one for you for this mortise cylinder. So since these cylinders are not made, well, we're not gonna be able to buy one to replace it. So let's talk about what is made. Well, what is made is your standard one inch mortise cylinder. This one here, I think is, what is that? This one right here is your standard uh, inch and an eighth length. And of course, the diameter of this cylinder is one inch. But if you were to put this cylinder into a inch and a half hole, guess what's gonna happen? <laughs> it's not gonna screw in. So is what we have here is a adapter ring. And as what this adapter ring does is it takes your one inch in diameter mortise cylinder and it turns it into a inch and a half. So what we do here is if I were just to uh, take the uh, cylinder, all we're gonna do is we're just gonna screw it on, right? It's that simple. Now, of course, as you can see right here, there's a tiny little Allen screw. And so is what you do is when you get it into place exactly where you want it, okay? You're just going to, so what you're gonna do is you're gonna screw it down, right? Just like you would like inside the lock, right? Right here in these little, um, in, in these little cutouts. And you're just going to align it like that and you're going to screw it down. And now you're gonna be able to take this one inch cylinder and you're gonna be able to screw it in to this inch and a half hole, okay? And that's gonna solve like most of your problem. Um, the one thing that you you may have to do, depending on the situation, is the tailpiece, okay? So the tailpieces are, you know, much larger in these situations. Let me take this off here again for a second. Let me uh, show you what I'm talking about. All right, so if you look at the tailpieces here, and we were to line these up um, together, Okay, um, you're gonna see, you know, that the, uh, of course, the inch and a half is bigger than the one inch. So um, you may have to uh, modify the tailpiece a bit. You may have to even take off the old existing one that you're replacing and modify it to fit on the uh, on the smaller one here. So you may have to do a little something there, but the good news is most of your problem is gonna be solved by just um, having one of these rings. So if you live in an area that uh, tends to have a lot of these big cylinders, stocking one of these rings might be good, but other than that, at least you know they're going to be available. And of course, I'll put a link in the notes below where you can check out this um, adapter ring. It's a really handy thing just to at least know about. But I'd love to know your thoughts in the comments below and make sure that you include the hashtag lockbox to automatically get entered in to win one of five free prizes we give away each week here on YouTube. Thank you for watching and we'll see you next time. This is the big ol' big ol' mortise cylinder. Big ol' big mortise cylinder big problem. Here we go. Now, unfortunately, these cylinders, now, unfortunately, you know, these cylinders are getting old. And um, at, at some point, you're gonna maybe, and at some point, you might have to comments below and make sure that you include the hashtag Lockboss to automatically, to automatically get entered in to win one of five, <laughs> to automatically get entered in